When Gerald Cotton died unexpectedly in 2018, millions of dollars invested in his Bitcoin exchange, Quadriga, vanished with him. That left his wife at the center of one of the biggest investment scandals of the digital age. Jennifer Robertson is now telling her side of the story in her new book called Bitcoin Widow. She joins us now from Halifax. Good morning to you. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Why did you decide to write this book? I decided to write this book because I wanted uh, to be able to have a platform uh, where my, I could say exactly what I wanted to say and the media wouldn't be able to twist it. Um, I also had a lot of uh, grief and things I had to work through, so I had to make sure that I was ready uh, to write the book and then have it be published. I also wrote the book, um, and I didn't hold back on a lot of my mental health issues, was because I wanted um, anybody else who might be going through something difficult that, you know, it can seem really that bad, but you can make a turnaround and you can bring your life back full circle. It's been, uh, it's been a bumpy road for the last couple of years, that's for sure, to give everyone a bit of the backstory. I mean, Gerald ran this company from his laptop. After he died, you had no access to the passwords. How did you cope with the realization that investors were now looking to you for answers about where their money was? Um, I have felt very betrayed by Jerry. You know, he had mentioned that if anything were to happen to him, there would be this dead man switch, which would provide me, um, you know, all of his financial information or his parents might have got it, he said. Um, and then it never came. And it threw us and Quadriga into absolute chaos and you know he he affected so many lives and he hurt so many people what has it been like trying to mourn the sudden loss of your husband while trying to deal with there are conspiracy theories out there that he could still be alive what's what's that been like um it's been difficult i i personally saw him die you know i brought his body back to halifax with me from india and there have been numerous people that have seen his his body including his mother and his father and um you know i so badly wanted jerry to obviously be alive one because he's my husband and two because um you know he could sort this all out or provide answers so when the world is screaming he's still alive and you know that he's not um it can be it can be difficult to deal with that while you're grieving and another level and layer to this the ontario securities commission later found he was essentially running a ponzi scheme and those millions of dollars gone just gone his investors lost everything i mean you lost everything you were threatened i understand how do you begin to reset your life if um when I lost everything, I realized that in the end, it is just stuff. Um, it was difficult to lose my home, <laughs> you know, the roof over your head, the place um, that I, you know, I really felt safe. And uh, I just had to, you know, I had to keep pushing forward every day. I just had to make a plan. And so I, um, you know, I'm now living in my renovated uh, attic loft of my family's uh, cabin. It's it's small but cozy, <laughs> 12 feet by maybe 32 feet, but it's um, it's perfect for me. I went back to school and I found something that I absolutely love doing, which is teaching. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently um, 31 weeks pregnant, so I'm oh, you know congratulations. I'm looking forward to a new new chapter. How are you feeling? Uh, first and second trimesters were, were a little rough, but I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> so what is the most misunderstood part of everything that's happened, in your opinion? I think the most misunderstood part was that I had something um, to do with Jerry's disappearance or Jerry's death or that, you know, I hadn't cared about the investors, which is, is absolutely not true. Um, you know, I ended up, I tried to do everything that I could to help the users. I, um, you know, I gave access to all of Jerry's laptops, our personal conversations, everything that I could do. Um, I actually gave permission even still to provide um, Google to give the trustee all of Jerry's email and Google accounts, just hoping that it would find something and could bring some money back to the affected users. Did you not suspect anything along the way in those years? I didn't. Um, you know, it was a innovative uh, finance company that was new and upcoming, and Jerry was a very intelligent man. He was respected by um, cryptocurrency circles, 
And, you know, he had this company that was, you know, online and live and registered with FinTrack and all your withdrawal methods, such as the cash withdrawal was an option. Um, you know, everyone, it everything seemed up to par, but in this really um, very innovative crypto world that I didn't really understand. I think a lot of people have difficulty understanding crypto mm -hmm. and I, that, that was me. Well, Jennifer, we appreciate your time this morning. Bitcoin widow love betrayal and the missing millions that is out now. Jennifer Robertson. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Take hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more your morning videos right here.